Hi guys, so um, why am I in the house? Well, I was splashed out on a few wee new toys, so I thought I would unbox them, so to speak, and let you see what I've been buying. Uh, so the first thing I've got here is a really nice set, cooking set. It's called, I think that's right, it's called the Odo Land Camping Cookbook Set. Um, and this is amazing value. I spent, it's cost me £18 on good old Amazon. Um, <clears throat> basically what you get is a really nice cookbook with a hanger and handles so that you can obviously handle it as you're cooking. Um, and also use it as a mug if you want to drink out of it, but you also get this drinking mug as well. It's all stainless steel, so we're talking really good quality for £18. This has got a, <coughs> a silicon grip handle that obviously allows you to pick it up when it's really hot. Uh, a lovely wee carrying bag, um, cleaning cloth, and a couple of really cool cutlery items. A folding spoon. And a fork, folding fork. Are these. <laughs> They look awesome. I can't wait to use them. Uh, but yeah, I, was, uh, I figured uh, for um, bike camping especially, I really wanted something a bit smaller than my, my big mug. Something that I can put on the fire without worrying about it too much. Um, and that I can use to, to drink. And it's a really nice set, just the way it comes together. Uh, I forgot there's a, a lid too for the cook pot. So. Really nice value, um, so I can't wait to get using that outdoors. I'll obviously do a follow up review once I've actually used it in anger, as we say in the UK. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is I got. Uh, there's an awful lot of really low sort of budget stoves on the market just now and this is one of them I get out. Uh, this is the Outad Outdoor Folding Steel Windproof Gas Stove and this, believe it or not, was only £12.48 from Amazon. Um, so my, my Primus Multifuel is a fantastic stove, I really love it and obviously it's been multi-fuel you can literally burn just about anything in it, uh, including like petrol and diesel and stuff, um, which is great. Um, this one, I like the fact that it's it's folds up nice and small, I also like the fact that it's got a really good stable cooking stand so it's got really wide legs on it well not legs but these arms at the top so obviously you can get a nice big stove on there eh, nice big cooking pot on there um, uh, as I say for the, for the price it looks such nice quality um, I was hoping it had a, an igniter on it, but I think that must be a, a, an add-on that you can get for it. Um, I see a groove there that looks like it might take the actual igniter. Um, but yeah, really happy with that for the price. It looks great. I've not actually fired it up yet. Maybe that would be an idea. Um, I'll fire it up in a minute. Let you see it burning. Um, and again, once I use that, uh, for real, 
I'll uh, do a follow-up review and let you know just what I really think of it. Um, but yeah, for that sort of price, how can it go wrong? Okay. So number three, um, I've been wanting to get um, a firebox for, for ages, uh, but they've always been quite expensive and I didn't know really if there was any decent sort of budget ones. Uh, but I, I've been reading the reviews on this one. This is the Lexada portable camping stove firebox. So, this was £19 from, guess where, Amazon, of course, lovely Amazon. I've not even really tried putting it together yet, so this could be a bit of a laugh. Um, it's still got the plastic scratch coats on, this, on the actual metal, so obviously I need to take that off before I actually use it for real, but um, from what I could see in the, the reviews of it, it Every bit as good as uh, your fancy titanium ones. Uh, obviously not as light, but then um, that doesn't really matter that much. Uh, so uh, turned that the wrong way. Go ball. in there and this one goes on top you have to do this before you do it don't you? I've never used one of these fireboxes before but um, it does look pretty cool um, me to find the hardest way to do it. Who needs instructions, eh? Who needs instructions? That's it. That should probably stay attached, but never mind. <coughs> yeah, so that's pretty cool. I mean, as I say, I've never used one of these before, so that should be quite a, a bit of a learning experience to actually get this thing uh, working for real. But uh, yeah, nice, nice big opening there, so obviously it's quite easy to sort of feed the fuel in as you're cooking. and. Um, yeah, I mean, it's stainless steel, it's, it seems fairly sturdy. Uh, hopefully, it can handle the heat and doesn't all buckle up. Some one of the reviews said it bent a wee bit, but um, I'm sure it'll be fine. And obviously, once again, once I've used it in anger, I'll uh, do an update review and tell you what I really think of it. But yeah, budget stuff again, £19. How could you go wrong? Okay, so I'll uh, give these guys a proper use and uh, let you know what I think of them. Okay, see you later. Well, I did promise I would let you see this.
shouldn't really do this indoors, but never mind. Just for a quick blast. There you go, it does work. See you later.